Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Mom Plans. I have another planner video for you today, and today is going to be my March kit lineup. I did skip February with this video because I was still waiting on some kits, but I have all of my kits for March, and I'm really excited to show you everything I have planned. We're moving into spring, so definitely have a fun mix of kits to show you. So, this is my Planning Roses planner. Um, this is my memory planner. I went ahead and put all the kits um, in this planner just so they were all in one place. But I am going to show you kits that I'm using in my functional planner, which is my plum paper vertical priorities, as well as my memory planner. So it's two kits or two sets of stickers per week. So let's start with my monthly. So turning to March. In March, I am using this gorgeous monthly kit from My Newest Addiction. Um, it had a matching weekly as well. It was so pretty. It is in foiled and gold foil. I love the greens. I thought it was perfect for March. So you've got all of your top bars here. And then these are your um, full boxes for the empty days of the month. Then you've got icons, holidays, quarter boxes, and half boxes. And then the sidebar here, so pretty and simple. Some layering items, um, some like small boxes, your date dots, and then these are some shapes here at the bottom. And then you also have this um, matching sheet that has the days of the weeks, some foil accents, and then some headers here. So lots of pretty stuff to use in the monthly. Um, I did use one of her monthlies last year. This will be the first time using one this year. I'm so excited. I love all of Laura's stuff. So let's move to the first full week of March. So this is going to be for March 6th through the 12th. And in my functional planner, I'm going to be using this kit from My Spoiled Planner. This is one of her journaling kits, and the theme was books. And I love, again, the greens here with some of the purple. I did get this one on transparent matte. So you've got some layering items, your days of the week, some florals and torn washi, and then this full sheet of deco and some more floral washi. So I'll probably pull in like some functional items with this, but this will be a nice base for my functional planner. And then in my memory planner, I am using this kit. This shop is now closed, um, but I had it in my collection and thought it would be perfect to use in March. Um, it has you no know, bright springy colors, some of the green, and it is gold foiled. The name of this kit is Just Breathe. So you've got full boxes and some quarter boxes, a full sheet of boxes, three sets of headers, some functional items, and some shapes and deco at the bottom. Then you've got date covers, your bottom washi, and um, a weekly tracker box. And then I also have some floral deco uh, trim and larger deco to pair with it. So that kit will be for my memory planner. And then moving to the second week of March, which is March 13th through the 19th. This, um, oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> you know how I said that monthly kit had a matching kit? I got one of them. So in my uh, functional planner, I'm using this journaling kit from my newest addiction. Um, this is Spring Revival, and like I said, it matches the monthly. It's so pretty, and I love Laura's um, journaling kit format. So you have a lot of items that can be deco or functional here. And then um, also some torn washi. And then this page, again, some of these items can be decorative or used functionally. Some more washi, some big pieces of floral. And these down here are um, like circles and arrows. So really pretty. That will be in my functional planner. And then in my memory planner, I'm using this gorgeous kit from My Spoiled Planner. Um, it is a gold foiled kit, and I love this deep green. I knew I wanted to use this in March. It is just so pretty. So you've got full boxes and quarter boxes, um, two sets of headers, a weekly tracker box, and then the bottom washi, which this bottom washi is cut out washi that I love. And then a full page of boxes. Then you've got your date covers, some torn washi and layering items, some deco, and your sidebar items. And then all of her kits come with matching date dots. And then I also am going to pair these foiled butterflies from Sadie Sickers. This was um, Shantae's sampler that she handed out at Galentine's with a plan, and I thought it would go with this kit nicely. I'm sure I'm not going to use them all, and I can use it throughout the spring, but I just put it in there because I knew I wanted to use it with this kit. 
Moving on to the third week of March, which is March 20th through the 26th. Um, in my functional planner, I'm using another journaling kit. This one is from Jessica Hartz, and this was her library journaling kit. Again, I liked the pink and green for March and spring. So here you've got some large deco and some washi strips. Then you've got your days of the week, some more washi strips, a few boxes, and headers there. And I'll definitely pull in like functional items to go with that kit in my functional planner. Then in my memory planner, I'm going to use another kit from Jessica Hartz. She's one of my favorite shops, so it's no surprise. And this is her Gilmore Girls mini kit. Um, I've used a ton of Gilmore Gilmore Girls kits over the years, and this is one of my favorites. I just think this art is so fun. It's just so perfect. So you've got, this is the mini kit, so you've got your full boxes, functional items, and date covers, and some glitter headers. The bottom washi, which this is so fun, and some icons and quarter boxes, and then some headers, little things, more icons, another full box in your weekend banner, and then I also pull or I also purchased the overlays in silver foil. So pretty. I'm really excited to use that kit. And then for the last week of March, which is March 27th through April 2nd, I am using um, some more pretty kits, of course. Um, in my functional planner, I'm using some leftovers from Nicole Alexia Designs. This was her April showers kit from last year, and I thought it was perfect since this is the week moving into April. It's a silver foiled kit, so I've got a few headers left, a full box, and um, some boxes, one strip of washi, and then some more boxes. This will honestly be the perfect amount of items for my functional planner. I love using leftovers in that planner. And then in my memory planner, I am using this gorgeous kit from My Swirled Planner. Oh, I love it. It is a gold foiled kit and just gives me all the spring vibes. So it's called Country Estate and you've got your full boxes and some quarter boxes, headers, bottom washi, weekly tracker, a full page of boxes, and then your date covers, layering items, deco, and some sidebar items. This is the same format as the previous kit I showed you. And again, the matching date dots, and then um, I have the deco as well, which I love this deco. I think it is so, so pretty. So I've got a really fun combination of kits for March. Um, general theme of green, but I've also got some bookish kits, um, a nice variety of shops that I love, and I'm just really excited to get into the warm weather and move into spring. So I will have all the shops linked below that I discussed for my planners as well as for the kits and any discount codes that I have you can find down there. And if you're not already, definitely go follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Mom Plans. There you can see how I use all of these stickers and how all of these spreads um, turn out. I am pretty regular posting over there. So definitely go check me out if you are not already. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do upload planning related videos for you every single week, whether it be plan with me's, hauls, organization, all those kinds of things. If you have any suggestions on videos, um, definitely comment below, let me know. And I'd love to hear what kits you are using in March. So comment below, let me know if you're using any of the same kits, what kits you're using, any shop suggestions, all of those things I would love to hear. And I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!